Welcome to another episode of Black and Blue. This episode we have titled what? The Family Tree. Family Tree. Oh, mm -hmm. Family Tree. Okay, mm -hmm. I like it. We will, we will be talking about trees, plural though, right? True. Yes. Yeah, but first we're going to go to uh, really a tree that uh, it looks pretty dead. Very dead. Yeah, it has a guy dying on it. Mm -hmm. uh, the tree of the cross. Oh, the cross, yes. <laughs> and uh, we're really fascinated by these uh, words from Jesus from the cross, especially yes. this third word mm -hmm. uh, where Jesus, uh, he says in John 19, uh, woman, behold your son, you know, talking to Mary and, uh, and John. Then he said to the disciple, uh, John, behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her to his own home. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So Jesus is, uh, he's not separating people at mm -hmm. the cross. He's doing what? He's bringing them together. He's bringing them together. He's mm -hmm. togethering. He's familying. <laughs> That's not a word. We're That's making a, it a word. Yeah. yeah. yeah <laughs> there we go. Exactly. Which is, I mean, it's the opposite of what happened at a different tree. Oh, yeah. In Genesis 3? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. And there, 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 yeah, I mean, at that tree, there was a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. And at that tree that was actually living, the tree of knowledge of good and evil, mm -hmm. uh, there's not any uh, uniting going on. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of dividing going on. Mm -hmm. Separating. Dividing, yep. Yeah, a rupture in that mm -hmm. union and communion between mm -hmm. that man and that woman. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, they, Adam and Eve get on fig leaves and they try to hide from each other. And then when God comes on the scene... They're pointing and blaming and uh, lashing out at, at the other. Oh, yeah. I'm not with that guy. <laughs> the blame game. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And uh, and they think when uh, when God does come onto the scene that it's going to be, oh, get even time. Mm -hmm. Payback time. Mm -hmm. You stab me in the back. Now it's my turn. To stab you. <laughs> and of course, he doesn't do that. You know, no, he, he uh, declares that beautiful promise mm -hmm. that uh, from a woman will come an offspring, a child mm -hmm. that will crush the head of the serpent. Mm -hmm. And we see uh, that offspring, that child crushing the head of the serpent mm -hmm. uh, right here in John chapter 19. We do. Yeah, we do. Jesus pinned to a dead tree mm -hmm. so that he can bring life and immortality to mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. uh, it's beautiful. It is. And we're seeing one, I guess you could say one aspect of that life and love is is in the familying of people who aren't blood relatives yeah. but because of jesus and his shed blood and um because of that they're becoming actually a stronger family that than any family on earth can be like yeah the jesus family yeah I mean, yeah what is the saying that uh blood runs thicker than, than water? water yeah but here it's actually uh water tinged red with the blood of jesus that runs thicker than blood yeah exactly <laughs> And I think it's no coincidence that you've got it in the Gospel of John where it's recorded about Jesus getting <laughs> sound effects with pastor. Yeah, 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 yeah you have that spear uh, yeah. pierced uh, side. Yes. And from that spear pierced side flows water and blood. blood. Yeah. yeah. And even, even Marty Luther, he'll, he'll talk mm -hmm. about the font, you know, just uh, that, you know, that it runs red. Yes. That's water tinged red with the blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in that in that in that water and blood washes washes us into a whole new family. Yeah. Where you know, we're not related to each other, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm I'm Shean, you're Patron. Mm -hmm. Uh now I know you go back far enough and we have the same <laughs> uh, you know, first parents, Papa Adam, Mama Eve. I get that. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, I mean, you know, we, we have different family trees, yeah. right? But yet we, we we have the same family tree, exactly, uh, because of the cross, which mm -hmm. is uh, uh, the greatest family tree. It is where we have Jesus, who is the head of a whole new humanity, mm -hmm. uh, the new Adam. Yeah, and uh, and we are really, in, in a sense, the the new Eve. Yeah, you know and that that we actually are creation from His side. Mm -hmm. uh, you know that water that washes us into. Uh, the new Eve, and then the mm -hmm. blood uh, that we get to to sip and sup, you know, mm -hmm. in the in the Lord's Supper, yeah. to, you know, where He nourishes us as bride. So He's not just like, you know, okay, you're my bride. I'm not going to take care of you. <laughs> he gets to nourish us with his yes. with, with, with his blood that flows from that spear pierced side. Mm -hmm. And uh, and what a what a family tree to be a part of. Exactly, it's the strongest, and actually, it's even better than what our first parents lost. Oh, way better. Yeah. Because yeah. now we have God is our big brother. Our Lord Jesus is now our brother, and God is our father. Um, 
That's amazing. It really is. And, you know, God has no grandchildren. So uh, we're all, we're all, uh, we're all uh, sons and daughters. Yeah. Well, you know, we're, we're all firstborns, actually. Yeah. Which is always mind-boggling to me, you know, that uh, we all get, we all get the whole enchilada of the inheritance. Uh-huh. It's not like, you know, in, in our, in our biological families where the inheritance kind of, it's, it's like piecemeal out, right? Right. That we get a, we get a sliver, a slice of the pie. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, when it comes to the, to the inheritance in the, in this family tree, the Jesus family tree, yeah. Uh, we get the, we get the whole enchilada, all of us. Right. I know numerically it makes no sense, but you mm-hmm. know, there's a lot that's you know a mystery. Yeah. With the with the faith, and that's one of one of the mysteries. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It is. And, and what what a what a beautiful uh, picture of, of of this family that is actually united by a suffering one. Mm-hmm. So that we know yes. that it's a family that it, we, we we can bear one another's burdens, right. one another's suffering. Mm-hmm. So this is not a God that, that shuns suffering, that divorces himself from suffering, mm-hmm. but enters fully into our suffering. Right. Um, and, and by doing so, he's able to overcome all the barriers that actually separate us. Yeah. So, he, so we can actually actually be united mm-hmm. in a blessed union and communion. Yeah. Uh, this Jesus family tree. Mm-hmm. And uh, and so so we likewise then can enter fully into people's suffering. You know, mm-hmm. we don't shun suffering. We don't. We don't say, well, yeah, I don't. You're you're just such a mess. I'm gonna stay away from you. Mm-hmm. But we want we want to be part of uh, right. people's uh, suffering, so that they know mm-hmm. they're not alone. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a family that really does uh, share and care and burden bear. Mm-hmm. Exactly, because we're getting to bur- care, share, and burden bear with our big brother Jesus. Because me carrying your burdens, or likewise, I mean, we're always yeah. carrying it with Jesus, the suffering one, the true suffering one. Who knows all of our shame? I mean, he's hanging naked from the cross. Yeah. Um, you know, that's a really big contrast to Adam and Eve who were, you know, naked at the tree and then are trying to cover themselves with fig leaves. Yeah. Um, and he's saying, you know, you don't have to cover yourself. I'm going to cover you. Yeah. I've got you. Yeah. You're part of my family and uh, I will not let anything snatch you away, which is also part of the Gospel of John. It's really yeah. cool how all of those different verses tie together, those images. Yeah. No oh, one can so, snatch him out of my hands. Oh, yeah, oh, John yeah, 10. Yeah, exactly. The good shepherd. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But that's part of being, that's uh, the perks of being part of the Jesus family. You can't be snatched away because his blood and his, and the water from his side, too strong. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. It holds in life and most especially in death. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So you can't ask to be part of a better family tree. Mm-hmm. It's the family tree that uh, endures, Mm -hmm. uh, is the family tree that remains steadfast, the Mm -hmm. family tree that goes through life and death into the Mm -hmm. resurrection and everlasting life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a place of belonging. Cause I mean, look at Mary. Now she's getting to belong in, in John's household and, and be taken care of. And he's getting to be, to be taken care of by her. I mean, Belonging is what we're looking for. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, the longing to belong. Mm-hmm. I mean that that is really yeah. People want one of the major reasons we have so so much so many um you know difficulties in, in our lives is because of that lack of connection. Mm-hmm. And here, you know, yeah. Jesus with his arms stretched out is giving a big bear hug to the world. He yeah. he's connecting with everyone. Mm-hmm. You know, right 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 where they are. Yes. Um, what's really fascinating is the church fathers. You know, take the. Uh, the gambling uh, soldiers and how they're they're gambling for the four pieces of clothing from Jesus, mm-hmm. and then also then they they gamble for uh, that, mm-hmm. that that seamless uh, tunic. Mm-hmm. Um, you know the, the church fathers they 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 argue that the four pieces represent the four corners of the earth, and then that that seamless uh, mm-hmm. tunic uh, representing the, uh, the the unity in in the church. That uh, that that here here is a a God a naked God, uh, you know one who is actually dying for the sin of the world. Uh, all that would separate us from God, he's he's just burying the black hole of his death, and he's doing that so we can gather people from the four corners of the earth into this uh, into this uh, church mm-hmm. that can't be fractured, that can't be wrecked and ruined or rocked by anything or anyone. Yeah. That this is a a church that that remains uh, united. Uh, for life, for everlasting life. Mm-hmm. And you're part of that. Yes. That's a very special thing about who you are. Yep, who I am, who pastor is. Yep. 
<laughs> and really, at the end of uh, you know time, we're gonna have one big uh, celebration, a big Wait, family reunion. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> and, 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 and weddings become that, right? Yeah. Weddings are big, and, and really, the first time we actually hear this word uh, "woman," mm-hmm. the only two times actually in the Gospel of of, of John that uh, that Mary pops up. It's at John 2, where she's called woman. You know, Mm -hmm. uh, she approaches Jesus and says, hey, you know, the wedding wine has run dry and the bride is about to cry. Um, You know, Jesus like, woman, what does this what does this have to do with me? Mm -hmm. And and, and Mary, she just she looks at the servants and says, do whatever the guy tells you, Mm -hmm. because she knows Jesus will come through for that couple. And he does. He turns, you know, washing Mm -hmm. water to the finest wedding wine. And uh, and really what, what what we see here then. Um, at the cross is Jesus is bringing us into a family and we have nothing but a beautiful family reunion to look forward to Mm -hmm. on the last day. And we get a foretaste of that in the Lord's Supper now where we gather with angels and archangels and all the company of heaven. So over our loved ones who died in the faith, they're they're not dead, right? Mm -hmm. They're at, they're, they're at the rail. You know, we're getting a a teasing, uh, you know, uh, appetizer Mm -hmm. of that family, family reunion to come. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So the biggest family in the world. (laughs) Lots to look forward to. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, yeah. So see at the foot of the cross, Jesus, Mm -hmm. you know, family, you know, Mm -hmm. his, his cross is the tree, uh, of life, uh, the family tree, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that, uh, that, that really, um, you're a part of. Yeah. It gives Um, you a family. gives me a family, pastor family. Yes. Awesome. Yes. So, uh, so by his wounds. We are healed. Yeah, until next time. See you later.